What's going on guys? Low Voltage goes here, back again with another video. Today, my 4 Ranger decided to um, take a dump on me and uh, decided to break on me on the door handle for the uh, tailgate. So I ended up going to um, AutoZone right quick since I didn't want to wait uh, on Amazon 30 days. And um, went over there and got it for 30 bucks on Amazon if you want to go ahead and wait uh, 10 to 15 days or 20 um you can go ahead and get it for like nine dollars but i paid 30 just to go ahead and locally get it and uh get it done but yeah so what ended up happening is that this um lever ended up breaking on me uh it's already an old truck 2004 um but i'm gonna show you guys right quick what you need and how to exchange it and what's under this um panel so first of all you're gonna be taking off one two three four five six seven eight uh, hex head screws and um, I know under here, since I already went through it, you're going to need a 10 millimeter uh, socket. Okay, so we'll go from there. All right, guys. So I bought this on Amazon. Um, I've been having this for a while. You got all your hex head and security tips and all that good stuff. Uh, you guys know I do low voltage. I use these to remove cameras. But this one ended up being handy for me because I need a star uh, shape. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, use this and put on my impact so I can go ahead and... Uh, Take this off real quick. So let's go ahead and see. All right, there's one. And make sure you don't lose your screws because um, I mean, you don't wanna have to go to Arizona again and buy some more. So. Okay guys, now that you guys removed all the um, eight screws from here, all you gotta do is just pull this off. You got a security panel here. All you gotta do is just remove it that off and let me show you guys here right quick the mechanism how this actually works so whenever you pull on the handle this actually the handle little levers here push down and make the mechanism pull these um, uh, long rods that go all the way to the edge of the truck going like this and it unlocks your truck so let me show you guys over here right quick what's going on while I press on it so you see the little uh, plunger here on this side um, how it's uh, releasing and that actually ends up uh, going in here right where uh, you're on your actual striker so all right guys um, 10 millimeter is what you're gonna need here for these two screws so just go ahead and take them off all right guys now that you remove these two little screws in here show you guys right quick you're gonna have to this little piece you're gonna have to pull up and undo the little levers in the bottom and then that releases your handle so um i already installed mine but i just want to show you guys right quick um how everything uh went for me and make it easy for you hopefully so these two little levers are the ones that actually end up uh pushing down on this mechanism so i could go ahead and um, open up uh your strikers on the side so like i said guys these two pretty easy just line them up to the holes and lift this up again so those go end up going inside and at the same time obviously you got to line up these two screws that are already attached to the lever so push these in first while you lift on this and line up your holes and everything should go get it good be in place all right, guys, so you push on this same time. Line up your holes. All right, now you're going to go ahead and put your screws back on. Alright guys, what I'm going to do now is uh, throw some uh, WD-40 so I could go ahead and uh, remove all the, uh, remove and protect everything in here, just lubricate it, 
So I'm gonna put some in there, some in here, and on the other side as well. So everything will go ahead and uh, be nice and uh, lubricated in there. And uh, pretty much that's the reason I'm wearing gloves, so I don't make a mess. But yeah, guys, so let's go ahead and throw back the um, protective panel and the cover. All right, guys, I got the little, uh, I guess uh, you can call it security panel, so nobody uh, tweaks under it. But drop this one in, line up all, everything nice and neat. Uh, that way you don't have a hard time uh, with the other cover as well, since they all got to line up. Look at this. All right, guys, second cover in place. Throw it in there, and uh, go ahead and grab all your screws and throw them in place. All right, guys, now they have all your screws in place. Um, that's pretty much it. So here's uh, my old one, like I said. I'm showing you that's trash. And uh, let me show you guys right quick. Uh, tailgate handle. Uh, I'm sorry, you can't see the part number there. But like I said, uh, this uh, brand that I used is a uh, Doorman. Um, this is for Ford Ranger 2004, the work that I did for. And uh, pretty much, let me show you guys uh, the end product. So, there's my, and it locks. So, that lubrication on WD-40 even made my uh, tailgate even smoother when it comes to, like, locking. It's even smoother because I was having a hard time, too, whenever it came to pushing it close. I had to, like, pretty much slam it or pull on my lever and close it like that. But since this is lubricated, it clicks in there nice and neat. But, yeah, guys, let me know down in the comments down below what you think. Peace.